Hey, what's up everybody? Fred Minnick here, and today I am going to review the Old Forester Birthday Bourbon, and I know I'm late to the party on this one, but I just got I just got my sample, and as I am kind of getting my top 100 stuff ready, I'm going through everything I've tasted in the year, which uh, I'm close to 800 things I've tasted in all of 2023, and I was like, looking for some of the key products that come out. I'm like, oh, I don't have Old Forester birthday bourbon. 12 year old uh, bourbon. This was aged in warehouse I, fifth floor, and it is 96 proof. Old Forester birthday bourbon. Oh, wow. Molasses, cherry pie, Fig Newton, popcorn. This nose just won't quit. Baked beans. Like brown sugar baked beans. Bacon. The oh, fuck am I smelling bacon? Mmm. Bacon. Do you like bacon? Put it in the comment section. I'm fascinated when I learn about people who don't like bacon. Hold on. Oh my God. That is some bitch and delicious right there. I got to tell you, I, um, the way it just felt on my tongue and just kind of took my whole palate over. I kind of forgot to talk to you, so let me taste it again. Y'all, this is a very complex uh, bourbon. I mean, we're talking marshmallow toasted pine nuts, molasses, vanilla. There's slight hints of oak, but it's not over oaked by any means. Um, there is like um, like chewing on a piece of hay, so there's like a little earthiness in here as well. But it's, it's really just all over my tongue, really vibrant, really really promising and the the most the most powerful note for me is marshmallow but let me taste again make sure uh i'm not wrong yeah and this finish just will not quit from the moment i put it on my tongue it just it just kept going and 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 going. This is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, yeah, I know I'm late to the party on this one, so apologies in advance. And it's, I know it's too late to pick up these bottles, and sometimes they're difficult to get. But it is also, it is also my job to to taste these. I've been I've been critical of birthday bourbon, especially in the past, uh, but this is definitely not a miss. Uh, one note, um, the pappy like not not that this is apropos, but the pappy products are not going to be hitting Kentucky until like uh, mid December, I'm told. So, yeah, this is a this might be this might be the the cornerstone allocated product to buy in Kentucky without um, without Pappy around because to me in Louisville especially Old Forester and Pappy are they go neck and neck for what everybody goes crazy for locally uh, BTAC also I feel like BTAC the Buffalo Chase Antique Collection draws 
more of a national bourbon geek excitement. But you'll find like the old money in Louisville flocks to uh, Old Forester Birthday Bourbon and Pappy. And occasionally the Angels Envy, you know, uh, cash drink products. And why, you might ask? It's because uh, really Louisville centric people are behind those brands. But anyway, so that's my review for the Old Forester Birthday Bourbon. Absolutely fantastic. And it will, without a doubt, uh, make my top 100. This is delicious. But I'm going to be alone with it here for a second. Hmm. Wow. Thank you for tuning in. If you're not already, click subscribe. Tell a friend about the channel. And remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used to clean up the murder scene of a dead cat. Cheers. <laughs>